<clears throat> YouTube, what's going on? It's Bungie back today with another video. Um, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you how to do a CLR browser, how to set that up with uh, specifically Twitch alerts. Um, so what that means is if you've ever wanted to have a follower uh, alert or notification pop up on your stream, um, this is what's going to go down on there. You can do it with hosting, donations, uh, recent subs, anything that does involve followers, um, subs, notifications, all of that. Um, we'll cover all of that and how to set it up on OBS. So let's get right into it, guys. Um, so first off, what we're going to do is, again, you can see that I'm on my uh, OBS again. So when you open up OBS, this is what it'll look like, obviously not with my screen. Um, what you'll do is, first off, you will go into Add and you'll add CLL Browser. Obviously, this is what um, you're going to have um, to do when you um, specifically get Twitch alerts. Um, but I won't go into that right now. I'm going to actually bring on the screen for Twitch alerts so I can show you this. So this is what Twitch alerts looks like right now. Okay, guys. Um, so I'm going to hit launch Twitch alerts. And this is my, my own like dashboard area of Twitch alerts. As you can see, it shows my recent followers. It shows all of that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here to, you can, and we'll, and we'll go through this first, but I'm just going to go to alert box first to show you how to, um, how to get all of this set up. All right, so this is what uh, the main thing that you will need, guys. This is, the, this is the biggest thing of this video is this right here, what I'm highlighting and stroking back and forth. So again, what you're essentially gonna have to do is highlight this and copy and paste it. Uh, I'll show you where to copy and paste it later. I'm just gonna tell you that this is what you will need. Um, so this is, we're going to go to follow alerts and as you can see, I have all of my settings right here, my sound, my alert duration, everything. Um, and this is where you upload everything that you want. Uh, right now my image is actually a GIF. Um, it's a GIF of like a little Mexican kid dancing and everything. Um, and my sound is a, a little sound clip that I made from uh, a program and put it in for 10 seconds. So that's very easy if you guys can have someone make that for you or you can make it on your own. Uh, you can just upload anything right there. Uh, so this is text animation. This is what your text is going to do. Right now I have it as a rubber band. I used to have it as a wiggle, I believe, or a wobble. God dang it, I don't even know. A wave maybe? Yeah, I used to have it as a wave. I like that. Um, and you can, you can change up the message template too. Mine just says, uh, this person is now following and everything like that. Uh, you want to obviously enable this. Uh, you can change the sound volume, anything you'd like to do with it. Uh, I put it at 10 seconds because um, that's how long my music plays for. So, and again, you can change that as much as you want. Here's the font settings. Again, nothing too too drastic and you know hard about this. It's you pick your font. You can actually upload any font that you want. Um, it's it's pretty cool actually. Um, you can do the font size, the font weight. Uh, mine's a, like a yellow color, and then it's an, a white color. And then you're just gonna hit save settings. Okay, guys. So now, um, the settings are saved, and I'll actually show you, because uh, I'm going to put up a new one here. So we will go, come on, open, thank you. So I'm just going to go through here and find the GIF that I want. I personally like GIFs, I think they're more interactive um, than just a picture. Uh, but again, you guys, it's personal preference, whatever you guys want, I just got to find this GIF, guys. There he is. I don't know why that's not coming up. It's really annoying. There it is. Okay. And then you're going to find your sounds. Um, uh, do, 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 Where is it? We'll, we'll do this one, the chain smokers one. This is a good one. So you're just going to hit save settings. It's going to take actually a little bit. I don't know why it takes so long. But that actually didn't take that long. Okay, so then it uploads. All that is set. You're perfect. If you have, if you're a partnered streamer, you can do subscriptions. I'm really not, so I'm not going to get into that as much. Donations is literally the same exact thing, guys. You upload that. Uh, amount minimum uh, is zero, so every donation pops up. I really like that. It gets more people involved. Um, again, font settings. Font settings again. Everything is there. Hosting alerts. Again, same thing. Um... You can have anything that you that you want for that. Um, 
So that is your follower uh, subscription donation is hosting, guys. So we're actually going to go back up to the dashboard. We're going to go into my donations. Oops, I'm sorry. Um, donation goal. So this is um, a actual pop-up thing that shows up on your uh, OBS screen and on the on the stream that shows you like an actual goal that updates in real time every time you get a donation. This is actually really, really cool, guys. Um, and all you're going to do is go into donation goal edit or widget and it's gonna give you another copy and paste link like this down here and all you're gonna do is copy and paste that and I'm gonna show you exactly where we're gonna copy and paste that right now guys um, and so we're gonna take that out of there alright so I'm going to bring up mine right here once I find it uh, and we're gonna open up properties so this is what the CLR browser will show when you click add CLR browser and it's going to say www.obsalert.com, something like that. So from what we came over here and copied and pasted, right? We copied and pasted that, or we copied it essentially. And now we're just going to essentially paste it right here. All right, so um, everything will be copied and pasted. Put it at 640 by 480 because that is the size that uh, OBS wants you to put it. That's just something um, that they wanted to do. I don't know. I'm not going to screw with it because I don't know that much about it. But I would just put it at 640 by 480. So then you're going to hit OK. And then boom, um, the follower alert will be in this red box. Uh, and mine's a little bit small, but I'll show you guys anyways what it'll look like and what it'll sound like. Um, so we'll test the follow alert. And by the way, testing the follower alert is easy as just clicking that button. And in a few seconds, uh, we should have our GIF pop up here on the screen. Now, if it doesn't pop up on the screen, don't worry. Um, sometimes it does take a little bit, so be cautious of that. Um, but in when you're streaming in real time, it should come up within a couple minutes. And again, boom, there it is. Uh, this is just a test one, but it shows you is now following all of that. Um, again, you can put any music you want there. That was just a little one, a little test chain smokers music. Um, and we'll test the donation alert too. So again, you just go back into this screen and you're gonna hit test donation alert. Now I will give you this part of advice. Um, the first one of the day when you start streaming will be the laggiest one. And there it is. Does that make you just wanna donate? Honestly though. Um, when, when someone sees that, it makes them feel good, like that they're contributing to something that makes them feel special. So I, I truly like this. Um, again, just another gif of, of Epic Sax Guy with his music. Um, it, I made it go on for about 15 seconds. Um, so 10 seconds for the music and then 15 seconds so people can read what the person wrote on there, if anyone did write on there. Um, and that's essentially it, guys, for that. Now for the donation uh, settings, here I'll go over here. So this is the donation settings. Um, again, donation methods, I put PayPal. All you gotta do is set up your own PayPal and boom, you're in. Um, and then you can put a minute amount, a suggested amount, um, a donation memo, all of that. Um, that way people can write messages to you and everything like that. So again, it is very, very simple. Twitch alerts is very, very easy, guys. Um, they make your own little dashboard so you guys can see what you've done in the past weeks. I mean, I could I could literally go back um, <clears throat> and see, look at, like, in the past week, I've had 133 follows. I've had $18 donated with six donations. You know, this month, I've had $161 and 238 follows. Um, I mean, it, it's a crazy, it's a crazy amount of stats that they have, guys, so... I think it's pretty impressive what, what they've done with this program. So uh, I would definitely encourage using it. This is the program that I found to be the best. Um, other CLL browser um, websites that I've gone to have not worked. The, the thing has not popped up. Um, nothing's come of it. And I just sit there, you know, twiddling my butt because uh, people have followed and want to be noticed and never get noticed. So I would definitely consider Twitch alerts. Um, Again, if you want to pause the video at any time to see the settings that I used, it's very, very simple. You should be able to set it up in about five to ten minutes, um, unless you want to get really particular with it. 
Um, other than that, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you liked it. Hit that like button. If you have a comment, please comment on it. Uh, and if you like what I'm putting out, um, I'm trying to upload daily. So if you like that, hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'll be streaming tonight if you guys want to check that out. So I will see you guys in the next one. I think our next video series, since we're done with OBS, uh, is going to be reviews on quest bars. Um, and then we will get some more gameplays out there as well, guys. I'll try and get that uh, apartment set up to, her, to you as well, guys. So I will see you guys.